Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Klinam Chope. I'm your MC for tonight. And I hope that you are as excited as I am about being here. You know, we're making history here at the Saxon Hotel in Johannesburg on the 9th of April, 2002. <laughs> yes. The woman who has brought us here today is not only oh so awesome, but she is also one of the most most moving, most powerful women in the world today. That's Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey is doing something that I call touching lives. Something that we call in my language, Yes. She is putting a little stone of her contribution at the heap of stones, at the entrance to the village. She says, Oprah was here. Now, I would like to quote something that she has had to say. She says, we have an opportunity to make a real mark with this magazine, to speak to and touch women in a way no other publication ever has, to convince women that the real work is becoming more of who they really are. Uguba wena, uzbege wena, uzamugele, touching lives. That's Oprah. Hey. Our first speaker is going to be Jane Raffaele, who's the editor-in-chief of O Magazine in South Africa and the director of Associated Magazines. Please welcome Jane Raffaele. Thank you for being with us tonight. How I wish Oprah Winfrey could have been with us to share this extraordinary moment. This is a very important moment in her life because, as she says, in her first editorial, in her first edition of O oh, South Africa, how much she loves this country. I think that that is something that every single one of us in the Saxon tonight shares. We really, really love South Africa. What a beautiful business the magazine business is. I feel blessed to have been part of it in a country that experienced such a miraculous transition from oppression to freedom. I feel proud that magazines played a major part in that process. And I am totally awed now that it, at this most important time in our history, a moment when we can either go forward or endure the paralysis of indecision, that a magazine like O, from a person like Oprah Winfrey, will be part of our cultural matrix a vital influence on how we can determine ourselves and our future, and undoubtedly a powerful engine of personal change and a force for good. We are so lucky to have O here. To be the first is such a vote of confidence. But South Africa deserves that luck. And Associated Magazines, I can proudly say, has proved worthy of Oprah's trust and Hearst's confidence. That is not my boast. That is my thank you to everybody who put the premier issue together. They say about Oprah that everything she touches turns to gold. It's very appropriate that this evening has been sponsored by our friends at Anglo Gold and also by the world's most famous brand, Coca-Cola. It feels absolutely great for O to be in this company. I can tell you, and thank you, thank you, for coming to our party. This brings me back to Oprah. She could have chosen any one of 221 countries. She chose us. We will never forget that. And dear Oprah, we will deliver. 
We are delighted to have Kathy Black, president of Hearst Magazines, and George Green. He's the man in black. This man is a, is a legend in the publishing business. When we started discussing doing O in South Africa, he said, I really, really want you people to do it because I really, really like South Africa and I know it will be a great issue and it's such a great country. And you know, when people say things like that to you, um, it's very special because it means that in the process of trying to get something like this going, you've got the strongest ally, the biggest expert, the heaviest hitter, you know, the most respected person, and also a person who ran the planet when he says, this is what we are going to do, they say, mm, then it will work. It must work because if George Green says so, it is so. So I, with great pleasure, would like to present George Green to you and with a lot of affection too. Thank you, Jane. Hearst is a company that's in many different media. We're a television company, we're a B2B business, we're a magazine publisher, a newspaper publisher, we're in the cable television business. We are uh, one of the most successful private companies in the United States. But nothing makes all of my colleagues at Hearst more proud than the magazines we publish outside the US. But nothing makes me more proud, someone who has started up more than 70 magazines around the world, than the launch of O, oh, the Oprah magazine here in South Africa. This is a very special moment. People like me often talk about it as if it's a normal thing. It isn't. I believe this magazine will make a difference in this country, and I'm very proud, very proud to be associated with it. All of you who have supported us, we appreciate that. We know that the ultimate test for a magazine is the readers. They make the decisions. And we're confident that the readers here in South Africa will feel the same about, oh, the Oprah magazine as their sisters in the United States. It's been said that, oh, the Oprah magazine in the United States is the most successful launch in the history of publishing. As someone who does business in 45 countries, I know that's true. I would like to thank you again for coming and let you know that uh, you'll all get a copy of the magazine before you leave and uh, be assured that uh, we hope uh, that you feel as strongly about this magazine as we do. Thank you. I have the good fortune of introducing Kathleen Black. Kathy Black is the president of Hearst Magazines, but she's really more than that when it comes to Oprah because she's the woman who convinced Oprah to start the magazine in the first place. She was able to convince Oprah that it would be a magazine that she would be proud of, that she could be comfortable in talking about, that she would feel that she was getting her message to the readers. So without Kathy, there would be no O. Without Kathy, there would be no O in South Africa. So here is the person together with Oprah who has made this evening possible. My pleasure to introduce Kathy Black, president of Hearst Magazine. It is such a privilege and an honor for us to do the Oprah Magazine in the United States. It has been such an honor and a privilege to get to know this amazing woman. She is in the business of editing and producing a magazine because she cares about women's lives. She cares about the mission to help women change their lives, to lead a better life, and to have their best life. We are inspired by her, we aspire to be her, and every single time I'm in her presence, literally and figuratively, I feel as though I am part of a larger enterprise. She is spiritual. She believes in the inner self, in the inner soul. And it has been a great voyage and a great journey. So the chance to be able to work with Jane Raffelli and her amazing daughter, Julia, 
and Volker and all of the team that we have met here. And we have been so unbelievably warmly welcomed by all of you. It is also an honor and a privilege. I have seen the first issue. I've read every single word of the, of the first issue. And I might say, Oprah herself helped to choose every single thing in the first issue. We are very proud of what Associated Magazines has done. So we thank them for their partnership. We thank you because we know you will be subscribers or you will buy it on the newsstands and tell your friends all about it. So thank you. Let's call on uh, the stage uh, the Executive Director of Marketing of um, Anglo Gold, uh, Mr. Kelvin Williams, to come and address us, please. <laughs> Many of you know Anglo Gold as a company. We are one of the oldest gold mining companies in the world and the largest of the South African gold mining companies. We're a global company. We were the first South African company to trade on the New York Stock Exchange in 1998. And in the four years of our existence since then, we've done a number of things uh, in our gold market, in our communities, in our own life here in South Africa and outside of South Africa. But it is the first time that we've ever had a partnership with the media, and in particular, with an organization as esteemed uh, and as excellent as Hearst. We've been enormously privileged to work on this, uh, together on this launch of the magazine, privileged to work with the Oprah organization and with Hearst. We're very happy for what it's given us the opportunity to do, which is to launch the jewelry that will be on sale from Thursday, the first proceeds of which will go to the Hospice Association in aid of uh, HIV and AIDS management in this country. So to all of you here this evening, thank you for being at this event. To Hearst, to the Rafaelis, thank you very much for this opportunity that you presented for us. It's been a treat and an honor for Angler Gold. Thank you. The time is here. I'd like to ask Madame Kathy Black and Jane Raffaele, please unveil the cover of the Oprah magazine in South Africa. Segunjalo. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the editor of the old magazine in South Africa, Mr. Wenny Gondwe, is going to present Kathy Black with a present. Yes! Yes! She's nervous, but I insist that uh, our editor and our proud editor of the old magazine in South Africa. Mr. Wayne, please come and address us. Thank you. Yes! <laughs> you will notice that the theme of the first issue is discovery. And what a journey of discovery it has been, working on this magazine. Not only discovering amazing people, both the, the team in America who have been working with us and our own team in South Africa. And on that note, I'd just like to say, shout out to Jackie and <laughs> Andrea the deputy editor and the creative director. But, um, <laughs> thanks guys, it was amazing and will continue to be. But the journey of discovery, the most beautiful part for me has been the, the stories that we have found, the incredible people who live in this amazing country with such amazing stories to tell. The, we, we, were, we didn't know what to keep in and what to take out. There were so many amazing people doing such incredible things in this country, not waiting for the camera to click, as I am, but just doing things because they feel the passion for this country and the passion for this continent and the passion to make a difference. They're doing things not because they're waiting for their PR opportunity. 
they're not waiting for the, for the media op. They're just doing things because they feel it. They know this is where they belong, and they know they want to make a difference in this country and on this continent. That has been an incredible discovery, because I think for people working in the media industry, we get quite jaded, and we don't really expect that. But once you start going out there and speaking to people, you just find the most incredible, incredible stories. Um, and that will continue to be, and you'll enjoy all that in the first issue, and hopefully continue to support us in the upcoming issues, because we have some crackers lined up for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for, a message from Ms. Oprah Winfrey. Hello, South Africa. Oprah Winfrey here. And I do so wish that I could be there with you tonight. As I said to one of the reporters for the Sunday Times, Gwen, I had such a lovely gown to wear. But please know, I am with you in spirit. I am really very proud. It's one of my proudest moments to be able to bring the first international edition of O, the Oprah magazine, to South Africa. I actually made the decision, um, it was one night last fall when I had been uh, watching a documentary called Africa, which was on public television here. And there was a scene um, just in the background set in an African beauty parlor uh, that showed customers reading Hello and True Love magazines. And I thought, African women sitting in a beauty shop should not be just reading Hello and True Love. They should be reading interesting, stimulating, thoughtful, fun ideas about their own lives. They could be reading my magazine. So it brings with it the right message, I believe, at the right time, and that is a message of encouragement, that's what we try to do every time we put out this magazine, a message of empowerment, a message of inspiration. What I know is that together we have an opportunity to make a real mark with this, the Oprah magazine, to speak and to begin to touch women in a way that no other publication ever has. We've done that here in the United States, and I believe we can accomplish the same goal in South Africa. That is convincing women that the real work in their lives is becoming more of who they really are. I continue to be on my own life's journey, embracing life every day, and it is my, one of my goals in life to try to encourage other women to do the same, to live their best lives. We now believe that we're going to be able to reach countless women in South Africa, thanks to all of you in this room. I want to personally thank Jane Raffelli, of Associated Magazines. Jane is the one who first proposed this idea to me. She came all the way over to the United States, had this beautiful presentation, and I still wasn't sure about it, and thought about it for six months, and then called Jane up and said, I think now is the time. That's after I see those women reading Hello and True Love. Kathy Black, hi Kathy, all the way in South Africa, and George Green of Hearst Magazines, my special thanks to you for also encouraging me with this idea. Thanks to all of you for embracing this magazine. It is truly a magazine that I am proud of. I think we can all be proud of. The premier issue of O, oh, the Oprah Magazine, South African edition, is yours to take home with you tonight. You knew we weren't gonna charge you. But don't forget to rush to the newsstands to get the next issue. Rush! Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Now's the time to celebrate, so party, hey, hey, party, hey, hey, party, bye.
great magazine. I think Oprah Winfrey is a very inspirational person. I think she's the woman of the world. Just like Madiba, she's the man of the world. I'm blessed to be a woman and I'm proud to be a woman because of women like Oprah, women like Felicia, women like Gwen, and women like Jane Raffaele. If you empower women, you have to empower everybody. Yeah. I think that is what all women have been waiting for. I mean, anything that can lift up your spirit is what you want to read. So I think it's a, it's a kind of magazine that will keep on your coffee table forever. Oh, I think it's wonderful. I'm excited. I think that it's going to change the lives of women in South Africa as long as it reflects the South African lifestyle as well. And it's lovely and it's sick and I'm very excited. I think it's an awesome compliment to South Africa and South Africa's people that Oprah has decided to actually start the magazine here and I think it's going to be an awesome success. I think South Africa is ready for this. I think it's actually bringing the world close to us and us close to the world and I think it works. So, it has to be all. Oh.